go and mention what I have. Go and point out what I have pointed out. I'm just looking for my crotch. So I can just uh, draw that line. Do I have my second pencil sharpened already? Yes, please. Okay, so we we'll point out that 7.5, right? As the merging. Then we mark our 49 and half for 49. 49. We said half for 49 is 24.5, yes. right? Yes. So we're just going to close our box. Bye. The half. Okay, let me close it so you understand that the box is closed. This is my Ubunga finger. That are red and plain. <laughs> so this is the box we need. The rectangle. Ignore the lines you're seeing around. This is the box which says half e plus one cm. And this is my crotch depth. Right? Then look for half, which I have already pointed. Yes. This is going to be the future side seam. Now we need to look at the hip depth. That is the measurement from waist to hip level. It's 7.3 inches. That was measured in inches. So you can go ahead and convert it to centimeters or measure it in inches. 7.3, right? Yes, yes. One, two, three. So it's here. I'll come here also. Always place your ruler on a straight line. One, two, three. Even if there is no guideline you have to create for yourself. See the way the edge of this paper is jaga jaga. I have to create a guideline. I have to rule a straight line as guideline for myself. Okay, so we're going to connect. Also, right? So this is our crouch, crouch, and this is it. So you can call this HP it point. That's the symbol, right? So this is the back and this is the front. Today's date is 040321. And this is size 6. Do me do. No dias. Family. <laughs> Are we clear up to this level? Yes. Very simple, right? How many steps have we done? Know your width of paper, create the box, divide the box into two, measure your if level, and rule across. We also talked about the CF and the CB. CF, CB. Okay, so now we're going to cut from the back on the hip level to the HP to create a seat angle. So when you sit with very trouser, can she sit face there and back of this? When you sit, this goes down. So see our waist, there's a depth that goes down. If you don't put, if you don't create a seat angle, our panties will be showing that if they are not done this, this that you're seeing right now might be somewhere here. Forget that. Ignore that this is like a high waist trouser on her or shorts on her. You'll be seeing her panties. So you need to make up for seat. That's why it's called seat angle. If you don't do seat angle and you wear it, your waist goes down to this level when you sit down. So we're going to, the, the standard is three. However, three is not fixed for everybody. I'm sure, I don't know. You have to have a trouser. What did, did you use? I did for same. So it will vary. For big people, you probably have to do up to five. I think I used about 4.5 or 5 for someone for princess. Then, 
That was four years ago. She's tall and she's she's she has eaves and you know you need to consider a lot of things on on an, on an average human body. Okay, so we'll be cutting to open three cm. Okay, so let's say this is our CB. This is our actual CB. This is just front. This is back. This is just back. So ignore. And this is just front. This part is your CF and CB because this is the box we created, right? Mm -hmm. So we need to cut from here. Please, someone should start cutting tape, paper tape. Okay, so I'm going to tape, I'm going to pin this down here. Please push, pin. push pin. Just carry it. Bring the container. When you're pinning paper, make sure you use your finger to smooth it out. Okay, so we said we are opening. It's a size six, so three should be fine. So you come out and measure three. One, two, three. Okay. And we are going to fold. Remember, I said something about darts. What did I say about darts? I said there are two, three, two types of darts. That's the incorporated one and the natural one that comes with it. So we are incorporating like a dart here, even though it's not going to be held. It's going to be used as extra, as fullness, as addition to something, to raise something. But we are taking it from the body. It's not something external. We are taking, it's part of what you already have that you are using, not that you are in bringing something from the outside. Okay, so we're going to fold here. See the way I'm trying to crease. What is happening here? Yes. But we only need three centimeters darts. Okay, so I'm going to stop immediately it gets here with your pattern laying flat. That's why I pinned down first. And it's here. This is my three. So you just have to paste this down at that point. Right? Mm -hmm. I want scotch tape. For this one, please. It's a very scotch tape. Eh? Why do you insist on scotch tape on that piece? Because I want my original block to be neat. And we can see it's better. Yeah, it's still. You use it at the back. What's your record motion tape paper? We go camera and look at it. What you say? And I was recording. I didn't see how she pasted it to. Okay. It's a motion tape. Okay. Just touch your skin. Thank you. 
Maybe I saw the train. I saw you in the train. You didn't even know she was there. <laughs> I saw you. Yeah, Twenty one. Car, 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 car. Okay. So you know, even when you were there. They didn't know. They didn't so know I was recording. Maybe they just stayed us. Yeah. 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 I saw you. Kill the auntie. Ah ah. I saw you. Uh, it was a short one of his ring. This is Mama, you can make do with this over here. We have a yes, we do that one. It's a pair of silver too. No, there is not paper here. I'll put it on. Scotch tape. No, there are fellow masha. I get it here. <laughs> yeah. How did she say? <laughs> she was looking at me like that was so fast. I was like, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You save the bag later. Okay, so this is our seat angle. It's three centimeters. It's called seat angle. Now, our slanted TV is what? Our, our CV is what? I've said it. It's not So, we're going to take this line down. It's up somewhere here. This is now our slanted TV. Right? Okay, so the next thing is to get our B and F. Our crotch, our fork. It's called fork. F O R K. The curve of the, of the pants. Okay, so it is 1 over 10 of hip measurement minus 5. To get 4 is the minimum. Are we good? Please do me three over four of your of the of ninety six. That's three divided by four times ninety six minus four. Minus four. Do that again if you are not sure of what you've done. Three divided by four. I know it's 72 already, minus 4, because that was all we remember, that was all we used to create the paper. 68. Fantastic. So, to get B, I'm going to measure 68 backward from F. And I'm going to go down by 1.5. Constant. Fixed, yes. And this is your B. 1.5. 68. Right? Now, we need to find, we need to draw our curve. The fork. That curve that comes like this. So we need our set square. Mm -hmm. yeah, set square. Look, how about set square? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have any other curve can I do? No. It's can. Any other curve with set square? Do you have this ruler? The fake one. Those Chinese one. The one I was giving. Uh -huh. It has. It's my. It has. It's, it has protector. There are some with protector. So this is how to use your protractor. 45 at 45 degrees, right? There's an angle we are drawing here. And you mark three centimeters. One, two, three. 
this is kind of fixed it's it's variable don't let me say fixed but three is, should be the minimum right then from the hip upward you measure about eight to nine centimeters so this is what we are drawing we want to connect we want to draw from here to here but we need to create guidelines i've said this several times always create guidelines you can't just i can't just place this ruler i can't just place this ruler like this and say i want to draw see i can decide to do it like this and draw there's nothing guiding me and it's not even touching my guideline but because there is a guideline i need to follow it will help me to draw it effectively right so about eight to nine centimeters but because this is a small size i'll do eight as my guide upward from hip on both eight right also we need to create an angle here for the back as well it's going to be here not here anymore because this is now our cb the slanted one so you're going to place it on here don't worry if this black line is not you can't slant it like this no it has to be straight with this we do still there so that's 45 degrees and you connect 3.5 to about 4. I think Ellen Armstrong said 2 inches because Ellen worked with inches. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to do 3.5 because this is a small size. You are a big size now. Okay? So we are now going to come and join. Also, when you're connecting the back, it is advisable to have like a straight line first so that when you're connecting, you don't have something like W. So you can, one of the use of this ruler is for grading. So for you to know if you have a straight line, you can just put, I'm going to use this line now to be on here. And it tells me, it automatically tells me this is a straight line. Right. So we're going to connect, let's connect the front first. We're connecting from here. Sometimes the scale will allow you connect at once. Sometimes it will not. So if it's not allowing you connect at once, don't worry. You can. She's clearing the table for you. <laughs> That's why you should have different skills. Don't worry if you don't have all the skills. There are things you buy one by one. So you connect. There's a hole there. And also connect here. So the ruler is not allowing us to draw at once. So just connect. So we come to the back. Looks like it's going to allow us to connect at once. You have to be careful and just so that it doesn't give you unnecessary things. Right? We are done with the fork. It's looking like a trouser already. I mean? So the next thing we need to find our crease. Thank you. We all know gator in front of trousers. It's kind of defined the middle, the halfway of your, it's not always halfway of, um, from the side seam to the inside leg, but it's kind, uh, it's kind of defined, you know, your front when you're ironing. So to find your gator line or crease line, you measure F to this middle point is what? 39 divided by two please. Nineteen point five. Nineteen point five. What is this? Twenty nine. I said nineteen point five. Is this twenty nine or thirty nine? Twenty nine. Fourteen point five. 
you can say that's your m right so that's 14.5 come and measure it from here towards the back as well remember i did not say measure here to here and divide by two mm -hmm. Okay, the same for two point five. And this is your N. So we're going to take M, N, and the future side scene lying down. Okay? So how do you do that? I talked about finding guidelines for yourself. So this is what I do because this line is like a guideline for me. I'm going to measure from here to all those points and I'm marking them on my ruler. So I know this is 17.5. This is 23. I'll be 32. And this is like 46 points, whatever that is. So I'm going to come to the bottom of my paper. Anywhere is fine. If I can come, if my ruler can get there, if I can even stop here using this box as my guide. So I'm facing here. I'm making sure my ruler is on top. So I'm going to mark the 17.5. The 32. Uh, okay. 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 Okay, so your crease lines will be broken lines, right? You're going to take the line up from the waist. Is it reaching? It is. Yeah. Please move it. to measure so there is a break happening here you just blend it so that this is your point and not <laughs> so we mark our what our knee level 22 22 and the floor length is what 40, 40. okay so we mark 22 So we're going to measure from the common line. The crotch line is the common line between front and back. So you look for where your M and D falls on. Yeah. And come and bring the, so it's here. And so bring the same here. Guidelines, 
That's what I'm just doing. Guideline is what I am doing. Nothing that way. Otherwise, we will have issues with. Okay, so we'll rule across. So imagine if I had not ruled, how will I connect? Who is touching my ruler? Okay, so ignore this line. This line is not needed. It's just, it's just used as guideline. So I'll soon erase it. And our M. Okay, so what is our knee width? Our knee circumference? 39.5. There's something else there. 43.5. So that's the one we are using. Divide it by 4, please. 10.875. Ah, 10.82. <laughs> oh, 10.8. 10.8 times 2 is what? 10.8 times 2 is what? 21.6 I'll beat you now that you are sleeping on my table 10.8 are you? Yes Okay, the same measurement to take it to the. I have measured it on either side of the crease line. That's what I've done. On either side of the crease line, left and right, not the side same. Twenty-one point what? Six, six ma. Six ma. <laughs> I want to okay so you connect your knee to the M with a straight line Easy, right? Very easy, right? Hello? Hi. It's not easy. It's easy. Madam Recorder, it's easy. 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 Okay. Is it not looking like Charles already? Yes, please. Okay. So we're going to connect the knee to B and find halfway the measurements. So IE knee to B is what? 32.75 or 32.7 just do 32.7 for us divided by 2 16.35 16.4 and you come in by 1.5 cm not how I am placing my ruler parallel to the line I said the 1.5 is a constant it is The same thing in front, connect knee to F. Find halfway. 31.6. That's 15.8. And this is 1C here. 
also constant. Then we're going to use our leg curve to connect. It's okay if you don't have leg curve. Use You can use your hip curve. Remember what I said about guideline. You can't just place ruler hand. Something needs to guide you. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. yes, so... <laughs> okay, so you keep moving your relative, they touch. Will hip curve also give us this kind of connection? It will connect, yeah. Even this big curve. Can you give me that big curve? So you can change this to broken line. This is just a guideline to get in this curve. Okay. Let's see if you... Okay. Yeah, but it will give you different curves yeah. because that's not the purpose, but it's also fine. Okay, we're almost done. See, it's not even plenty. We're almost done. We are left with connecting this to the waist. Now it's time to do waist shaping. Okay, so we're going to do waist shaping, and the formula is. Should measure 18.25. This waist should measure 18.25. However, looking at the front and back, because now this is the side seam. Can you see this line? Mm -hmm. Sometimes this line will not pass here. Sometimes this line, for some people, it might be here. For some people, it might be even further down because you're following this straight line. So because it's or it's exactly on the close, that does not mean it is going to be so for everybody. Okay. And you will see when you all do your own. Before you start saying, ha, it's not looking like the one auntie did. This is not you. It's none of you. This is none of you here. Right? Okay, so, looking at this block. Now, this is the side seam. What can you say about the blocks? This is front, this is back. What can you say about it? Around back the waist. Back looks bigger. Uh, back looks smaller. Like front is smaller than the back. Fantastic. So, the first thing you need to do is, since you already know that this is what we are looking for. Yeah. No matter the amount of dart you're taking on each of them. You must have this on, on the waist. Okay. This is inclusive of the ease, mm -hmm. right? So you come here and measure what you have. This is about 22, right? Can we say 22.1? Mm -hmm. So this is 22.1. Just say minus 18.25. Whatever it gives you is the excess you're taking out of that. Okay. Uh, that's 3.85. You come here and measure the same. Let's say 24 minus 18.25. Sorry, 0.5, Jerry. 24.5. That's 6.25. So this automatically tells you what you're supposed to take out from the front and what you're supposed to take out from the back. It works it out for you perfectly. In total, you have 6.25 plus 3 point, that's 9 point, um, that's 10.15 in total that you're taking. But using this method, it already tells you what you're taking out from the back and what you're taking out from the front. Easy peasy. Okay. Okay, so now we need to place our dart. When you're distributing your dart, the waist and the side seam takes more. And Natalie said we should measure it to position the first dart. I would say I disagree with her, but it's, unfortunately she's no more. I'm sure if she's still alive, she would have reviewed her book and tells, or she would have told us that according to sizes, she can reduce it. It cannot be eight for everybody. So as designers or pattern makers, you have to be able to use your discretion to do certain things. You need to understand grading. You need to understand sizing. You need to understand that we move from slim to big to extra large to extra extra large to extra extra large and the proportion cannot be fixed for oh. each size mm. right 
Okay, for this my size six, Collier. We can't use eight for her. So we can use maybe 6.5 or seven. From CB. From CB to position the dart. What you need to have at the back of your mind is that at the back is closer to the CB. Yeah. Right? Down to the side seam. Okay, so we we'll use... Uh, because we are taking out three... Yes, one, two, three. We're taking out 3.8. Let's use 6.5 for her, for the dart positioning. And how do we want to distribute this 3.8? I want her to have one cm for slanted CB, then we'll probably put um, 1.85 here and the remaining comes here, or we put 2 here and the um, 0.85 comes here, right? So since we said we are putting 2 here, so you measure your 2, 1, 2, forward. Look for the middle, right? So this is going to be 2. That's three. We are left with point. So you're going to measure your point eight five from here. So this is point five six seven eight, and eight five is going to be somewhere here. Okay. Connect this to your hip. Okay, do not measure the one. And this should be at this level, the level of the guideline here. So you place your ruler straight like so and measure to the level of these guidelines like 10.6 or something. And connect. It's 10.6. It's about 10.6. It won't be 10.6 for everybody. Because imagine if I had done 9, it would be shorter. Because the longer this is, the longer you should go. That's why it says between 8 and 9 upward. So I'm saying if the person has longer crotch level, you can do 0.9. It's the same thing as grading. When you have something that is longer, Okay, we'll come back to this later because we'll be using her. So we'll come back to the we'll come to the front. The front we have 6.25. Slanted CF in front is optional. But because this fellow has enough, we're going to give it to her. If you don't have enough, there's no need to do slanted CF. Yeah. Just use your straight CF. And also in front, I'm going to I want to have two that for her. Right? Okay, so uh, one cm is out. We have five point two five. Okay, so I want to do three. So I'm going to do I'm going to do six point five, right? And I want to do one point five. So I'm going to look for um one point seven one point five from here. One point five is here. Look for the middle. Five, six, seven, point seven, five. So this is one point five. Then from here I'm going to do you are four or three point five centimeters, or even three, and do another one point five. Look for half. That's one point five. This is three. This is four. We are left with two point five. So two point two five comes here. I'm going to just bend your ruler a little bit. One two one two point five. Can you see at the end of the day, if you had this 2.25 to 0.85, the side seam takes more than every other part of it. So that's what she meant. So you connect here to here. Your dart also at this level, it's about 10.5.
appreciate. If you like, you can decide to have just one dart and make it three. In that case, you can, instead of doing 6.5, you can do maybe seven and move forward so that it moves smoother a little bit. And you just connect with the hip curve. Sorry, I love this, my broken shape curve. It works better for me. So what you need to look out for is this touching your hip and wherever it stops on the crotch level. So I'm to come and record it from this side that I am drawing awesome. line. Okay. Up to here. It must touch the hip here and wherever it stops. Right? So because my ruler is broken, I'm just going to see. Here, connect and stop. Okay, that's will come out. Okay. Hmm? Maybe yeah, that's to come out. Yeah, but however it comes. Okay. So it has to stop on here. For some people, it might even stop here. Some we might go in more, but it's fine. Okay. And use your leg curve, inward curve when you're connecting from the back. If you cannot connect using the inward, if you're not clear about how to use the curve, just use straight ruler. But I like inward, I like to use my leg curve and do an inward curve here. So, We have shaken it. And that's it. That's your trouser. So if you look at this place, it's pointing out a little. You're not seeing it. Nobody's seeing it, Abby. Just blend. Then it's gone. Shaking and blending. And that's it. Can you see? <laughs> very easy, right? Yeah. It's very easy. So the first step is create a paper, right? The, the width of your paper must be at least three over four of your hip measurements by the length you desire. The length also you must have excess, extra. So I said create a box. Um, your paper. The width must be at least 3 over 4 of your hip measurement. That's the paper you need. Right? And the length should be the length of your trouser. Plus extra, because you're going to have merging at the top and uh, at the bottom. Okay, and we created a small box, which I said the hip, your hip should be, the, the width of the box should be half hip plus one cm by your crotch depth. Right? Then we created our small box. We looked for the half way, which was the future side seam, right? That's step two. And we found the, we mapped out the hip level, ruled across. We cut on the hip from the back for the sit angle up to the HP point. We held the dart to open the sit angle. 
pasted it and we drew a slanted CD because obviously when you created the seat angle, your CD became um, slanted. So we had to roll it. And um, what did you do again? Who remembers? We looked for our F and B. And to get our F, we did what? 1 over 10 of your E minus 5 centimeters. And I said something. What did I say? From the France, we should mark the... Nope. I said something about F. Our F is what? There shouldn't be more than one. That's not what I said. It should not be less than 4 centimeters. It shouldn't be less than 4. Even if you get 3 points, something, something, something. You should run it up to 4. The minimum should be 4. Then to get your B, you measure from F backward. 3 over 4 of your E minus 4 CM. Then you come down by 1.5. Right? Then we mark our crease lines, the gator line. So I said measure from F to the side seam divided by 2. We got 14.5, and I said from the side seam towards the back, measure the same thing. Then we drew uh, gator lines or crease lines, the broken lines down. Also, we rule down the, the side seam. Right. And uh, what else did we do? Who remembers? We rule down the side seam. Uh, and the, we looked for the knee level and M level to, cl to close the box down here, right? The knee and the M. Then we ruled that first. Then we looked for your knee width divided by 4. We measured 1 over 4 of it on either side of the crease line. We brought down the same measurements. Then we connected with a straight line, the M to the knee. We also connected knee to B and F to B. Knee to B, we looked for the midpoint and we went in by 1.5, fixed. Did the same thing in front, came in by 1.5, by 1, sorry, fixed, and we drew the curve. Okay, so we did not talk about the crotch line, right? So we looked for the angle, obviously, angle, then we connected. We did a guideline, 8 centimeters, I said 8 to 9 centimeters above the hip level, both in front and at the back. They are guidelines for drawing your frock. Right? That's it. Then we came to the waist shaping. We calculated our waist. Half waist plus one, the one is ease, right? You can do two if you want, but we're doing one. So it gives us 36.5. We further divided by two to look for the quarter, which is this. So I said measure your back waist and your front waist separately. So we measured back, gave us 22.1. We subtracted the 18.25. It automatically tells us what we are going to be holding as that. The same thing in front, and we looked for that position to distributed. We cannot in when you're when you're creating patterns, you can't take your excess out from one point. You distribute them around because as pattern makers, we work with proportions. Everything must be proportionately distributed around the figure, so that one um, side is not looking over shaped than the other. And that's it. And so you know, uh, the, the other time you said if we don't do that, we can actually make it one. One, yes. Two. If we take it like that, won't it be too much? But it's one, it's, it's three centimeters. Three centimeters. Yeah. But once your dart is getting to 3.54 centimeters, it's better you take. You divide it into three. Double that are usually fine. Finer than single that in reality. Yeah. I usually find out. And the double be done on the back? Yes, if you have enough. Or even like you have two, you can just do one mm -hmm. one CM. Mm -hmm. So, okay. And that's it. Thank you.
Okay, so now you can measure, because we did not measure this person, it was graded. So you measure from here to B and the same to F, it should amount to that. So if it is excess, you probably need to dart it. In reality, you're supposed to cut and sew first, even if it is excess, so that you know, do you have excess at the back or in front? That's when you know what to do. Or because based on experience and based on yeah, experience I would say about African figures, we usually have big bones. So it's usually it's usually fine, perfect at the back. So it's probably in front that will probably dart. So it's advisable to create a test fit first to know where the excess is going on. For some people it's to just be perfect. Even if it's uh, more on the pattern. Sometimes when the wearer wears it, it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. Our body has a way of adjusting to certain yes because we have contours. Yeah, this is this is two D. This is two D. Yeah. By the time you saw it and your flesh enters certain places, Free. to just be perfect. So it is advisable <laughs> to do a test fit, even if after constructing your um, block, you find out your crotch length is more. It's advisable to still do a test you to know where you need to correct. So for your client, you have to do this fit. Well, for trousers and jumpsuit, I would say yes. Okay. For any other thing, you so can. Based on experience, you know. But if it was bodies and you want to make a dress, immediately you would know what to adjust. Yeah. But for trousers, trousers has, has proven to be difficult. If you go online and even yes. search on YouTube, you see that a lot of people did a lot of pattern alteration on trousers. Trousers has proven to be so, so difficult. You can't, even if you accurately measure the clients. So that's why I said it is advisable, even after drafting, to do a test fit first. Even when you know that there is excess, mm -hmm. you need to know where to correct. Mm -hmm. The excess might, might be distributed between front and back. Maybe you need to dart both front and back. Maybe you need to, maybe it's going to be saggy around you and you need to hold the dart and correct some things. Yes. You need to do a test, test fit first before you know what to correct. So I wanted to ask, if it is excess in front, do I transfer the dart to the waist? Or You're going to, if it is excess, there's, there's, a, um, there's pattern alteration that will do. You close it that you close it and that's it. Wow. It means your crotch is too long, okay. so you need to shorten it. Okay. So you draw it like a dart from wherever, some, some, from somewhere from the center front to the side tip and close it. Oh. For some people, this seat angle might not be enough for them. And I told you I had a client that I had to do more than four. Once they come in for fit and they sit mm -hmm. down. You just have to you know, put a tape around them and see the difference that okay. needs to be added. Okay. And you raise it, you slash and raise more. So the opposite of folding it, that is you okay. slash and open more. Any questions? If open more, which means it will be closed more. If okay. we open more at the back. Yes, this goes like this more. Yeah. But then you would have separated, uh, separated it. Yeah. 